Hi there, Hadley. We are at the most critical moment in the Emirates mission to Mars. In just a few hours, the Emirates Hope Probe will attempt a high-risk maneuver to enter Mars's orbit all in the name of scientific research. Now, this hasn't been done before and it only has a 50% chance of success, but if it works, the UAE will become the first Arab nation to ever reach the Red Planet. I asked the UAE's Minister of Advanced Technology, Sarah Al Amiri, to take us inside tonight's mission. On Tuesday evening at about 7.30, 7.31 uh, p.m. UAE time, the burn for the entering into Mars orbit will start. That includes 27 minutes of our thrusters going on in reverse position to significantly reduce our speed all the way down to 18,000 kilometers per, per hour. That is the speed we require so that we can cap we are captured around orbit of Mars utilizing uh, Mars's gravitational field. Um, that is one of the toughest times of this mission so far. This spacecraft uh, is newly built and purpose built for this mission, meaning that the thrusters haven't been used for that amount of time, nor has the spacecraft undergone um, a Mars orbit insertion prior to this mission on other missions. Uh, we are foreseeing the preparation so far. Uh, things have gone according to plan. Uh, this is a, a, a severely rehearsed and tested procedure that the spacecraft will go under. And it's important to note that the spacecraft needs to work completely autonomously. We have no real-time communication with it. It takes about 11 minutes for one-way communication from Mars or back. And as I understand it, HOPE, if it is successful in entering the orbit of Mars, is going to spend the next two years doing scientific research. What are some of the scientific objectives of this mission? And what can we learn from the Red Planet that we don't already know? You can think of the HOPE Mars mission as the first weather satellite of Mars. So it characterizes the weather system of Mars throughout an entire, uh, entire Martian year, and that's equivalent to roughly two Earth years. Why is that important? Mars has evolved to the point that it's at today um, due to changes in its weather system and due to changes in its atmosphere. Understanding what happens today can either give us a lens towards what, what, was, what processes got it to its point uh, from the past, or even gives us a better understanding of what Mars is going to evolve into in the future. Another aspect that hasn't been studied is what role does Mars's weather system have on atmospheric loss? So Mars is infamous for its dust storms that start in a localized area and cover an entire planet. And that, the, the, that entire phenomenon of understanding how it covers an entire planet hasn't been studied extensively by data from Mars. And at the same time, understanding, for example, what those dust storms have in, in relation to atmospheric loss uh, and climate change on the planet. Exciting, right? So HOPE's mission is to explore the atmosphere of Mars and Emirati scientists say that this is also going to help us better understand our own planet, but it has another mission too. Remember the UAE wanted to get a probe to Mars in time for its golden jubilee this year, so if this is successful, tick that box. And this Mars mission is also aimed at accelerating the development of the UAE's space, education, science and technology sector, which is really critical moving forward. Remember as well, the Hope Probe also represents the UAE's vision for a post-oil future, a nation that generates wealth through knowledge rather than fossil fuels. But it also represents hope for the region and a whole generation of young Arabs, Hadley, who will remember tonight with pride, whether it's a success or a failure. Now, this mission starts at 7.30 p.m. this evening, but we won't know if Hope makes it inside the orbit of Mars until about 7.42 p.m. due to that delay that the minister was talking about. Well, Dan, it's an incredible time, frankly, um, not just for the UAE, but for the Arab world more broadly. I mean, you have to remember, of course, that MBS's brother, um, older brother, who in 1985 was the first Arab and the first Muslim uh, to go into space. He did that in conjunction with the U.S. space program. I think it's really going to be a fascinating journey uh, for the UAE as they begin to spend even more money uh, to do this kind of research and, and to put the education, really, narrative behind it. Because at the end of the day, what do we know? We know that the global space industry by 2040 is supposed to be upwards of a trillion dollars.